Hi, I'm Jenna Diagardi. Hi, I'm Will Petrie. You can also say my name, Diagardi. Do you see it? Do Ladies' see Choice. It? It's She's doing a little something. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. So welcome. We are here for episode three. Episode three um, of Smooch, Smooch the, the Tooch. Thank God. Which chronicles <laughs> Stanley Tucci's searching for, for Italy. Italy. I'm so happy to be here. I am so happy to be here. Today we are in... Umbria. I think I really like this bottle. I Isn't like that the nice? hands. Look yeah. at those hands. Can you give me a hand? My sister, her name is Christina, but we like to call her fondly Stina. Stina. She did some uh, light dramaturgical research for us for this episode. Thank you, Stina. We love you. She is who told me that Umbria is landlocked. Uh, uh, uh. It's the only Italian region having neither a coastline nor a common border with other countries. Landlocked, baby. And this is a uh, Monte Falco. It's one of the uh, mm. DOCs or protected areas. I think it's mostly Sangiovese, a little Barbera, a little uh, Sagrantino. Cheers. Cheers. Music. I mean, I like that. This is really nice. Jammy. Blackberries? Yes. The wine director at Pastis would always say, it's always yes. The answer it's is always, always yes. yes. There's so much um, gatekeeping in, mm. in wine where it's sort of like, no, no, this is it's the right this. way, this is the wrong way. It's like, no, the only like, Non-negotiables really are like the grape, kind of like light, medium, or full. And then whatever and you, from. Ta and whatever whatever you, you taste, taste, you taste. He said like if a woman with perfume walked into the restaurant, someone would say, it smells like like a, like a bed of roses, and someone would be like, that smells like kitty litter, and both people are right. It is right. so subjective. Thank you for saying that, though, because I have always been very intimidated by the wine situation. There are people who are intentionally making it intimidating, and I do not it like sucks. that. It sucks. It sucks. It's stupid. This is the farmer juice. This is, this is grapes. Grapes, people. Oh, and so I'll talk a little bit about what we're wearing. My sister, Stina, did this research. Told us about a festival that happens in Umbria every year called Corsa dei Ceri. Directly translates to Race of the Candles. They're not candles. They're these big effigies of saints. Yes. They look like like massive candlesticks that have saints on top of them. Yeah. There's three different saints. I, I can't tell you who they are. Sorry. But they have colors like teams. Yellow, black, and blue. And blue. We both chose blue. And also like a denim. A I, denim moment. Catch me most of the year. I'm in the Canadian tuxedo top. Yeah. You know, love. Tops and bottoms. And you can't see, but this is a jumpsuit. Okay. Italia. <gasps> Green heart. Green heart. Every episode he's like, I'm gonna go a little bit further. I, I like what he's doing. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> he knows, what, he he's knows doing. what he's doing because he also, 23 seconds in, we have plenty Pause. to say. <laughs> I'm Stanley Tucci. I'm Italian on both sides. Thank and I'm you. traveling across Italy. And a note for any vegetarian Shit. Umbrians eat a lot of meat. Shit. Mm -hmm. I surrender. <laughs> To the port. We're going to meet Big George. Hi. A known as Giorgione. He's what? a chef and restaurateur who lives at one with nature on a secluded farm outside Montefalco. Montefalco. Montefalco is what we're drinking. Look at these chickens. I hope they don't get eaten. I don't know. I like to. I don't know. It's complicated. Morning. Oh, this is him. Okay. The, the fat, fat of, of the, the land. land. Benissimo. Carlotta. Carlotta. Okay. In addition to wearing all his other hats, this rural Renaissance man also somehow finds time to host one of Italy's best loved cookery shows. I want to watch that. Cucina takes in all aspects of Giorgione's life. On ah! But the heart that sepia tone. I know, it's very, very highly stylized. Oh my god, he's got a pig hanging in the kitchen. On the menu is Maialino, cooked oh. in porchetta style. That's a bit too much but for me to the have whole that whole thing. We have a whole to pig. open it up and just and throw the spices in. Un pochino in bocca. Poi, ti piace l'aglio? Yes. I mean, poi ci mettiamo un paio di salsicette. You're putting, sa you're putting sausage in the pig. You're putting previous pig in a new pig. <laughs> previous pig in new pig. So, anche l'idea di di l'amore che ho per gli animali, vivi e morti, nel senso che poi è un percorso, loro crescono, vivono e poi ne mangiano. Sì. Jeez, he just feels that way about it. Un merletto. So this is What is lining. that? Sì, that's inside. That's lining all the organs. E noi ce lo copiamo, vedi così. Put 
I've never seen that before. Tuck, tucking it in at night. Oh my god. Lining. Oh, I mean, yes. yeah. this is the life. This I is know, the life. I know. As the lovely Sagrantino opens up, so does my new friend. Ho fatto l'università a Perugia. Non ho mai scordato da giovane quanto si stava bene qui Lumbia. Le persone, cioè io non mi sono mai sentito straniero qua. C'è la qualità della vita. I love him. Yeah. È bellissima. Questa situazione in cui c'è pace, yeah. c'è tranquillità. Mm. E dal 95 che io vivo in Umbria, non lo cambierei più. Wow. That's the thing. I would never change it. I would never want for more. I never want for more. This this is peaceful. What more would you want? Maybe it's partly cultivation, part shedding. Uh, yeah, uh, we, I'm, I have. I, I have... think this shedding. I mean, you and I come from a community too, where it's no. like because we don't come from like a linear career path, right? And everybody goes through their ups and downs. It does feel like there is always a wanting for more. Like our friendship will last no matter what. But the goal is to like. Get paid to do something you love. Get paid to do your this. own. Yeah. Just like this guy, he literally said, I would never change it. Yeah. Stanley. Yes, sir. Two hours have flown. Stanley. Up, and the moment we've been waiting for is upon us. Maialino a la Giorgione. Okay. It's pork with pork inside and pork on top. And <laughs> pork. It's a lot of pork. Whoa. I'm a moment. You oh. have to go to the primo. Okay. I feel this way. Ah! Okay. Oh. Proceed. Whoa, whoa, close up on the lips. <laughs> I'm not eating meat right now for certain reasons, but like, if I'm there, I'm eating. Uh, you're, you're eating, he, you're, eating you're eating If he's pork. carving that and handing it to me, like. It's going in the mouth. <gasps> Long live the Viva pig. Viva Noi. Ah, oh, Viva Noi. Viva Noi. You should stop filming and just eat it. Mm. I surrender. Oh, hi. Literally, I surrender. Whoa. I really, really loved that. That was a strong start to the episode. Very good beginning. He also had a very good nose. Did he have a good nose? He had a schnoz, yeah. He had a honk and honk. Where the wild things are. Where are the wild things? Today, a hunt day. We're hunting boar, but looking at this bread, it's a wonder there are any left out there. Claudia's hunting group is the first all-female hunting squad. Wow, yes! Sure, sure. fellows in on the action today. Dog. Dog. Everybody's got dogs. Very quiet. I guess because the boar happened to must have really good hearing. And we're just waiting for the okay to go down. To try to kill them. Drama. What are you? Sure. He really made that moment. He's manufacturing some moment. drama. Yeah, yeah he's manufacturing. he made that an acting moment. Yeah. Stanley, stick Choices. to the food. Stick, stick to the food. <laughs> Marco. Paolo. Allora, questa è il via del carico dei cucini. E poi scegliete i cani, ok? Dietro no, dietro no, Now, I'm under no illusion where all that salami comes from. Sei divertiti però? Sì. We're dragging, we're dragging it. But luckily for us, Giuseppina, Claudia's mom, and Giuseppina. Gorge. Working away Dragnet, another, Giuseppina. Following a family she runs a, a, a juice bar. <laughs> juice bar? Giuseppina <laughs> was... Are you sweating? I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm completely sweating. Should we do like a little pause? I think we need an AC moment. Thank you. We took a little schwitz break because <laughs> we were getting hot. Okay, so they just shot the, the they boar. They shot the boar. Ugh. Thanks to Claudia's hunting and the traditional culinary skills that Giuseppina Kiel. will soon be passing down to her. Kill, kill, dude, kill. No one Kiel. is going hungry today. That's perfect. Incredible. Have you ever been moved to hug someone who's cooked for you, someone you don't know particularly well? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure, Same. for sure, for sure, for yeah. sure, for sure. You cook for me, it's I'm like, hugging you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just, I just wanted to talk about that for a quick second. <laughs> I'd like to make a toast. 
Scott, I'm gonna make a toast to you, Claudia, for taking us. I'm Stand not or sit. Italian, English, okay. Or thank you so much. Don't make a choice. Okay. Today and all of you for it was a great experience and congratulations. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Noble butchers. butchers. And of all the pork joints in all the town, this pork one joint. reigns supreme. Wow. Why is he eating so many balls? Look at that little thing. Look at that. Oh! Jesus Christ, and across those things are huge. <laughs> My Mama God. Mia. Why they would be called donkey's balls. How to use your, your imagination for the... The Why are you still doing it? The rest of the package. Really. I imagine we're not stretching our imagination much. No. The salami here really is incredible. I've got to meet the maker. Going, going to meet the maker. Maestro Pepe, that's him on the Maestro side. Maestro Pepe? Sausage machine. It's the oh. last true Norcino standard. It's... Io da, da piccolo sognavo sempre da... Okay, when Maestro Pipi was a child, <laughs> dreamed of being a butcher, when uh, Claudia was a child, like, dreamed of being a hunter, it is literally f foreign to me to, yeah. like, think of, like, I'm going to be killing animals or making things out of meat. As my dream. As my dream, as my childhood dream. But that's why we're all snowflakes, I yeah, guess. Yeah, you know, That's so. why we're all different. Legend has it that during the Renaissance, the master portsmiths of Norcia oh. were so skilled with the knife oh, no. that on occasion they were even called upon to operate on humans. No. And they've been revered ever since for their craft and warrior-like work ethic. Parte che la generazione di oggi sto mestiere qui non piace più a nessuno. Non voglio non fare. Purtroppo qualche giorno c'è ma spindusia che come si dice fai il lunedì. I mean, okay, that's okay. interesting. When what I, I will say when we said like uh, a warrior like work ethic, I was like, is that code for you don't have any boundaries right. between like right. your life and your work, and right. like you're just expected to work all the time, which I don't agree with. I don't believe in that. There are some jobs, especially in food, that are like that. I mean, to get these incredible products, they, the price they pay is like. You gotta wait for the perfect time to kill the animal. Yeah, you gotta yeah, yeah, give yeah. it the amount of time that it needs to hang or yeah, rest yeah. or whatever. Your life, That's the slow food thing. And your life is dictated by when it happens or when it doesn't yes. happen. Yes. Carlo, nice to meet you too. Me too. Tutto mio. What's happening here? That's it. Please, Thank I you. won't show you my valley. But oh. some I wanna show you my valley. Like farmer Carlo Caporici. What you see here laid out in a perfect grid is a truffle plantation. Yes, black truffles. Black that truffles. Are fun. Excuse me while I die. So last episode was white truffles. Which and they mentioned in the last episode that the black ones you can farm, the white ones you can't. So there, this is we're farming. We're farming. Uh, he said what? He said something else that I wanted to. I he said say say something else on Walk with My Valley. Is that slang? <laughs> um, oh no, just a a, a a little tendril from. Uh, Maestro Pee Pee. There are jobs that are like people just have to do them. You can't expect there to be a passion. And so, yeah. like, the conversation about boundaries around those jobs right. is important. But if your life and your work is all the same thing and you love what you do, it's like, you know, retirement is the number one killer of old people. So yeah. it's like. And so I do also wonder, Maestro Pee Pee, like, if he were to stop. What Could you does imagine? that look like? I, 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 don't, I don't think. I don't think it would be good. I don't think it would be good for him. I don't think it would be good. You take the nut, a little bit of the truffle, and a little piece of a black winter truffle. Right. Paste. We mix together with this, and we put in the in a vessel, and wait for one year, and after put in the jar. See, they're waiting a whole year to showcase the flavor. <gasps> work. Carlo and his daughter Alice opened a restaurant right here on the farm. Facciamo spaghettino, un assolo del bosco. Essence Quindi, of the wood unghi, spaghetti. Spaghetti e tartufo. Ah! Oh. Al di fuori dell'Umbria, considerato un prodotto, perché poi obiettivamente lo è, ma da noi è come il pane. Dunque il tartufo che usiamo adesso è un tartufo uncinato. Hanno una nota molto forte di... Pasta right in. And the a little bit of water came oh, in. Oh, c'ho un'altra idea. Oh. The addition of beetroot is inspiring, but nothing upstages the true star of the show. Oh. A mountain of truffles <laughs> right on top. 
that, that shit right looks unbelievable. When you eat pasta, oh, what yeah. utensils do you use? <laughs> a fork. Just a fork. Get Do that not spoon. break that spoon in. It's she's not invited. She's not allowed. Keep leave her for dessert. The spoon does not belong. That is an American thing that has infiltrated. I I remember as a, as a young boy eating pasta somewhere and seeing people do it with a spoon and having an uninformed violent reaction against it, being like, no, oh, no. no, no, stick the fork in, twist it, put it in your mouth, knife. How <laughs> dare you? How dare with the How knife? How dare with the knife? Don't ever cut your pasta. What about this? <laughs> oh, pasta water is boiling. I'm taking the spaghetti. No, no, no. You break it in half? Do Get not. The fuck out of my house. Get out. Get Do out. not break the pasta. Do not. Absolutely not. If Don't. You please. are so concerned. <laughs> Get a bigger pot. I just felt my blood pressure. I'm sh I'm sh I'm sweating. Are I'm you sweating. sweating again? Yeah. No, no, no. no it's and not because of the heat. Because of this of the conversation. Anger. We know we can buy these bocce chocolates everywhere and anywhere these days. Bocce. Have you had these? So who I know a bit about that story. Do you want to talk about it? No. This okay. is my city, Perugia. No. This vibrant city is famous for its independent spirit. Colored hair. Yeah. Indians like to do things their own way. But then Perugia yeah. multiply that by the power of ten. Long, long ago, when Perugia was ruled hot. by the Pope, <coughs> things came to a head, shall we say. What you can notice on this square is that uh, the church is facing the building of the mayor. Church mayor. Church mayor. And his hand is on... The griffin. Which the griffin. Is, Another griffin. Which is the symbol of the city. Right. But that's symbol the of the message city. that the Pope wants to send to the people of Perugia. Be careful. Because he's, he's silencing. That's it. Yes, the Pope is saying, like, you, be careful. You better this fucking standoff. slow your roll. Obey. Obey. Salt in, in the, the wound. wound. A little mal done salt? <laughs> I'm a flaky salt. Love, Love the glasses. He gets a little sexier as the episode goes on. Now I will put a tax on the salt. It's crazy. It's crazy. I see. Salt, salt tax. tax was the last straw. Perugia declared war on the Pope. But the papal army crushed the insurgents in these very streets. And the Pope I didn't know that. built a fortress smack in the middle of the town to show the people who was boss. Their spirit of resistance lived on with a cunning culinary plan to rebel against their oppressor. Okay, so we're against the Pope here. La prosciutteria. It's a new take on the traditional bottega. I've got and amongst the party of Umbria's finest meats and cheeses, is Perugia's secret weapon. Fuck no. my... Allora, il nostro Not prosciutto <laughs> crudo <laughs> il del salami classico. Questa qua è una crema di carciofi e pecorino. Questa qua è il nostro pane tipico perugino. È un pane sciacquo, senza uh -huh. sale. Senza sale? Esatto. Sì, I perugini si ribellarono sia con una rivolta armata, sia riducendo in modo drastico pane cotto Whoa. senza sale. Okay. Okay. Whoa, okay. Buon appetito. Whoa. You're gonna tax my salt? I'm not, using, I'm not using your fucking salt. I won't fucking use it. I didn't know that was possible. Cured meats and stuff, don't we need a lot of salt? I, th I, 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 I have, I, I, have, like I have questions. <laughs> I have questions. A thing I have to say about prosciutto is like, that was a huge part of my childhood. Yeah, my no. dad loves prosciutto yeah. and he's very specific his cold cuts as we call them in america cold cuts. Um, no matter what it is if it's prosciutto cheese anything he needs them ham he needs them sliced very thin i i, I was spoiled as a child to get these like thin thinly, thinly sliced, sliced meats, meats. <laughs> i haven't eaten meat for a little over a year and the few times at a restaurant that i've had like a moment is when prosciutto comes out mm. i will have it again one day okay i think i'll just wait till the next time i'm in italy how old are you guys why did you end up working here ah. are, are we <laughs> are we just on a slow train to rethinking everything yes I think I might I have to go. That. I think, I, think you, I might have to I think, go. Yeah, yeah, no, no. 
I think I might just have to go. <laughs> I think I might have to go. You said in another episode, you know, you, the one restaurant that you really, really loved, uh, Pheasants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out Pheasants. Um, that you were like, oh, if this was my life, sure, I, I could do this. And that, I think, is a rare thing in the U.S. with the way that our <laughs> hospitality system is set up for mm-hmm. uh, for a lot of different folks in the industry. I have a lot of thoughts but about I that. But I think there... Very different. I'd go work in that shop. 100%. I might have to go. I, now? <sighs> okay. He whisks me away, leading me down. <gasps> Alice in Wonderland. Places just look like this. Places just look like this. This is why I have to go. <laughs> Into a cave. It's not a rabbit we've come to meet, but another small animal that the people here have dined on for centuries. Take a guess. What's the animal? Small animal dined on for centuries. Raccoon. I'm going to say bat because we're in a cave. Cave. Yeah. That. Yep. This is the house of Pigeon, my favorite pigeon. Pigeon! Yes. <laughs> I don't do a lot of birds. I mean, I, I don't think against it. Chicken and turkey. I guess pigeon, you might be able to find it on menus, but that's a little hard. And to quail find. is something else? I remember there's an episode in The Sopranos where Artie Bucco, who. I unfortunately see a little bit of myself in him. I, I, I'm not proud of that, but I, I need to recognize yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. He is like, I'm trying something new. And so he serves like, uh, I think it's Syl and, and uh, Tony and Polly Wal- mm-hmm. Polly Walnuts is my yeah. sun sign. They say some things of like, what the fuck is this? Like, you know, was, you know, like this is a bird that shat on me like in the park earlier. And Artie's like, hey, expand your horizons. Yeah, uh, but poor, you know, Artie. Birds, poor, poor Artie. Poor Artie. So you never trained as a chef? Never. It's something that is my blog, I think. Carrots, onion, thyme, and celery go into the pot. Uh. Then it all needs to cook low and slow for yeah. up to four hours to make it meltingly tender. Incredible amount of history in that little bowl right there. I love there. that little bowl. And then a piece of it was something new. Oh, you know, it's so, so delicious and nutritious. Thank you. That's really good. Thank you. Do you think he was downplaying some sexual tension? I do. Back, Back to, to the, the garden. garden. They saved the handsome boys for the garden at the yeah. end. And a cat. <laughs> Hugs out of the gate. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sure. This is no run of the mill farm, though. This is where I have to go. <laughs> this is where I And love to experiment by cross pollinating long forgotten varieties. To create supercharged new vegetables. Jesus Christ. So taking a flower yeah. from a tomato, which is good, but it's not really resistant to climate change. So this summer it was 45 degrees. Yeah, yeah. And just go to another plant who's got these tomatoes, which are really resistant, and cross them. You know what it is that makes men like this so attractive? Please. They, they know how to take care of these vegetables, these plants, these things. It's nurture or caretaking. Ugh. <sighs> I will be your eggplant. Yeah. Harvest me. <laughs> <laughs> and sweet to the heat. To the Just heat. Grab a knife and rip it the fuck open. That's good. That's good. I put them on the fire like that, burn them a bit, then yeah. cut them in a half and yeah. with a spoon. Like a little dessert. I'm struggling to be okay right now. Like, I gotta go. I gotta go. We gotta go. Farm in-house chef David. Hat. Hat. <laughs> hat. Important hat. <laughs> Pulled straight from the ground and simply pricked with a knife. These pricked. are going to be delicious. Pricked with a knife. They're really trying While to, like, roast, get me here. It's time to start the pasta course. Look at how big that garlic is. This is, that fucking this is one of my favorite things. Elephant garlic. Alioles garlic, right? Yes. Alione big garlic. And okay, that's that. done. Right. That's well, it. it. Okay, in. yep. Nothing else to say. What Look at how much Tuscan's garlic. Next door. I'd like to find this mellow tasting I need this garlic. Well. It's classic. <sighs> the whole jar just pasta goes pasta in. Made from tomatoes harvested just a few weeks ago. Moments ago. Now you see why they what are those jars in the back? Yeah, What's yeah, the table of the boys? Oh. Anything is better on a crostini. Anything yeah. is better on bread. Everything. More salt. More salt. Don't. It's not a fun Don't, joke. Not Don't, a fun yeah. joke. Yes. Don't. <laughs> Turn the pot. Scrape the pot. Oh, eat, 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 feed eat, the boys. Eat, eat, eat. Really encapsulate Italy's green heart and its strong, independent culture, cherishing the past 
while embracing the future, always on their own terms. You have to agree with Big George. Viva l'Umbria, viva la cucina italiana. Viva noi. E viva noi. <laughs> that ending really did me in. Do you ever have an experience where you witness something? I'm going to leave it like super open ended. Where sure. you witness anything and you're like, I, I, that's it for me. That's what I want to be doing. I have a friend who makes cider up in the Finger Lakes. You know, they make cider, they grow asparagus, they are go, 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 go. They are growing all different types of things. I wanted to just go and visit, so I spent a night there. So it was in between Thanksgiving and the election, a couple weeks before Thanksgiving. And they were doing their big turkey slaughter. So they're like bleary eyed, like, you know, like we have uh, two more weeks until these turkeys are done and then we can just like take a break. And I remember asking, so what do you do in the winter? And the handsome, not friendly uh, husband, Looked really confused, and he was like, oh, uh, you know, I, I read a lot of books. Not making a point. Right, right. But he was saying like, oh, I work all this time, and then we winter. Just like the yeah. Earth winters, we are taking our we cues winter. from the world, and we're like, we rest. Yep. If the sun is now setting before 8 p.m., that is a that's a cue for something. It yeah. means like, okay, start getting your crops. Get ready. Bring it, or do do your get harvest. Get the fuck ready. Get the fuck ready. It's gonna get cold, and then you like you know you can you preserve you do whatever, and you like winter it out, and then when things get warm again, you start you start going back outside. Right. I feel like there's that's a little bit in my DNA, and so certain moments in my life, but particularly that, especially with Trump having just been elected, I was like, maybe it's this, maybe it's this. Yeah. To watch people speak about a tomato, the intimacy, uh -huh. uh, to speak to this last section of these twin brothers with the vegetables. Tomato boys. The tomato boys. Pomodori ragazzi. <laughs> <laughs> the way that they intimately know these vegetables. Yeah. The way that Big George, was that his name, Big George? Mm -hmm. Intimately knows those pigs. pigs. And last episode, the way the guy knew his his dogs that were truffle hunters. Like, yeah. May I do one, one small thing while you're Please. thinking? I'm just gonna do this. Oh, take it. It's gone? Listen, okay. I, wanna, I wanna have a little time for our surprise. I know, I want this, I wanna do this surprise. So we're doing a food thing. I have no idea what this is. This is happening live on camera, folks. Like they mentioned very, very briefly, uh, the, the capital, Perugia, mm -hmm. is known for bachi. So bachi. <gasps> oh yeah, and you asked me, have you ever had these? Yes, yes, I asked, I asked you in a very casual way because I knew that we were gonna have them in, and you had not. <laughs> bachi. Have you had these? <laughs> These are a hundred years old. The woman who started this company, a woman named Luisa, she made these for her lover who, Giuseppe, oh. Luigi, Giovanni, something. We'll name here. But she would write little love notes and put them in the chocolates to give to him and then it became a hit and then she started this company in 1922. They have love notes in them? They have love notes. Bacci is Italian for pieces. Oh yes, Bacci, Bacci. So, I, I also want to say this says extra dark, 70%. Yeah, because I love you, dark chocolate. Yeah. You lean dark. I lean dark. I lean dark. Wow. <gasps> Grazie mille, Will. Oh, prego, prego, oh prego. I'm gonna eat it first. Okay, should we eat it first? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a crunch. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, shit. You shouldn't have introduced me to these. Oh, my God. First of all, the chocolate is so dark. Mmm. Dark chocolate truffle with hazelnuts and caramelized cocoa nibs. Mm-hmm. The nibs are doing a lot. All right. Do you want to read your note? It's in Italian and English. I'll do the English. Do you want to give a sub at the Italian? Seems like there's also German and Spanish. We can understand ourselves when we see ourselves in someone else. It's not a love note. Okay. What did you say? Do you want me to read the Italian and then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like non c'è niente di meglio che un amico. Okay. <laughs> non c'è niente di meglio che un amico, a meno che non sia un amico con del cioccolato. It's something about chocolate. <laughs> There is nothing better than a friend, other than a friend with chocolate. Is that true? Yeah, okay, I'm your friend with chocolate. I heard a piece <laughs> of advice once. It was boiled down to always ask for chocolate. And what it means is like, if you uh, are desirous of something, 
why not speak it aloud? I mean, mm-hmm. obviously, like, people can take it too far and be, um, w- uh, what is that? I wanted chocolate. And I asked my friend, I was like, do you have any chocolate? That's a weird thing to ask. And my friend was like, actually, yeah, yeah. I, have, I got some in my bag. You want some chocolate? Yeah. And I was like, if I hadn't mentioned it, it wouldn't have wouldn't happened. Have why not put out into the world whatever it is you are wanting? You, you can also take that on the opposite side of, why not carry chocolate for your friend who might ask for it? Ask for it because maybe your friend has it. But bring it. But bring it. You want to put out and, and openly seek out generosity, kindness, mm. love, these things. But also, why not bring it? Why not bring it everywhere you go? What are our capacities and how can we talk about them? How can mm-hmm. we ask for them? If you have a friend who you know loves chocolate but is a little shy to ask, might be like, guess Here. what I got? I'm going to have one more. I want to have another one. The whole time I was like, I want another one. Please. So I want to see the inside. Mmm. Oh, sure. Mmm. <gasps> Shit. This one is spilling some fucking Taste. tea. I'll say it in Spanish. Okay. Viver e a coisa mais rara do mundo. This is Portuguese, I think. A maior parte das pessoas existe e nada mais. To live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people just exist. Ah! I, I think there's, there's something there. On a that. Sunday night to hear that? <laughs> no. Un cuore que ama mm-hmm. es sempre giovane. Can you please translate? A heart that loves is always young. You ever see those old folks who are like, are still like stupid in love with each other? Like, like, like teenagers. Thank you. What a beautiful evening. What a beautiful evening. And thank you for joining us. Grazie uh, mille. Grazie mille. It's so nice to have spent this uh, time with you. Thank it you for really having is. me. Thank you for having me. And we'll see you next time on Smooch. Smooch. Oh, shit. See you now next time. See you next time. On Smooch. Smooch. The, the Tooch. It'll never be perfect, but that's why it's that's perfect. That's why it's perfect. Thank you. Okay. That's-